I'm going to handle this improper integral informally first. And then we'll look at it at what we get if we have to handle it a little bit more formally. So informally, what I mean is that we just treat infinity like a number, even though we know it's a limit. And so I'm just going to guess my antiderivative. And that's a negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. And just checking real quick, all I've done here is adjust for the chain rule. If I differentiate e to the negative 2x, I would get e to the negative 2x multiplied by the derivative of negative 2x, which is negative 2. That's why I put a, one, a negative 1 half out in front to cancel that negative 2. Then I evaluate from 1 to infinity. And when I evaluate that upper limit, I get e to the negative twice infinity, which is just negative infinity, and then minus e to the negative 2 times 1. So the interesting question, of course, is what happens with that infinity, e to the negative infinity? That's the same as 1 over e to the infinity. So 1 divided by some infinite number is going to give me 0. And I'm left with negative 1 half times negative e to the negative 2. I can cancel the factors of negative 1 and, and rewrite with a positive exponent. And I get 1 over 2e squared. The slightly more formal way that we're normally taught to do this in introductory calculus is to say, well, infinity is not really a number. I have to treat it as a limit. So I'm going to call this the integral from 1 to t, either the negative 2x dx, and then take the limit as t goes to infinity. And so I get limit as t goes to infinity. I guess the antiderivative, same thing, negative 1 half e to the negative 2x, and I evaluate that from 1 to t. And I end up with limit as t goes to infinity, negative 1 half e to the negative 2t plus 1 half e to the negative 2. That second term doesn't have any t's in it, so when I rewrite it, I have limit as t goes to infinity, negative 1 half e to the negative 2t, plus the limit as t goes to infinity of the piece that has no t's in it. So that's just going to be that piece. Okay. And here's where we've, we've kind of tried to hide our, our lack of formalism in introductory calculus. I still need to know that the limit as t goes to infinity of e to the negative 2t is equal to 0. In other words, I'm still using the same old argument that 1 over e to the infinity is 0. We haven't proven that formally, so we're still not being totally rigorous. We're just kind of pretending that we're going to be rigorous by reformulating this as a limit. I still need to know that that limit is 0, and I end up with a 1 over 2e squared.